Hello and welcome to ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is solids folder. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. There are four new improvements to the solids folder in the latest version of After Effects. And let me show you what they are. I'm going to select this composition here, control Y to create a new solid, hit OK. And when that happens, basically it creates a new solids folder in here in our project panel. And what it does now when you start creating new nulls, new solids, and new adjustment layers, it will start putting them inside this folder. The problem that I had with the older versions of After Effects, if you were to change the name of this folder to anything other than this, it would stop being solids folder. And anytime you create a new solid, it will create a new folder in here called solids and start placing them in there. And they'll forget about this one. So that was kind of annoying, but now you can actually change the name of the folder and it will still maintain it as the solids folder. Let me show you how. I'm going to hit enter and just type solids all caps, hit enter again. And now the pop-up window will come up and it will say, do you want these new project items to be created in solids? And you say yes or no. I'm going to say yes. And so now if I go back to my composition, control Y to create a new solid, I'm going to change the color to red, hit OK and OK again. And now you can see that it placed it right into my solids folder and, and it didn't create a new solid folder. The next improvement is a minor one, but it's still great. So like in the past, in the other versions of After Effects, you couldn't just grab your solids folder and nest them inside other folders. I mean, you can do it, but it would not be the solids folder. Basically, it would just become a folder full of some solids. And then next time you create a null or a solid or an adjustment layer, it would create a new folder called solids and then place them in there. But now it recognizes it. So now when you nest your solids folder inside other folders, it still works. And I can show you. So I'm going to select this comp, control Y to create a new solid, hit OK. And as you can see, it places it right into my solids folder. The third improvement is a great one. And basically you can assign any of the folders you see in the project panel to be the solids folder. So let me show you an example. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to label it ukramedia.com. And basically, if I want for this folder to be the solids folder, all I do just right click on it and say solids folder. And now if I go back to my composition here and do control Y to create a new solid, hit OK. And now you can see instead of going here, it's going to place it inside my ukramedia.com folder. The last improvement is very useful as well. And basically now you can set a default name for the solids folder. So instead of it being always solids, you can change the name to whatever. And all you do is just go to edit, preferences, and then new project. And so inside here, you can change the name of your solids folder. So you can it can be anything really. I'm going to set to ukramedia.com. Hit OK. And now if you create a new project, Control Alt N, and create a new composition, Control N, hit OK. And now I'm going to create a new solid, control Y to create a new solid, hit OK. And now instead of it saying solids, it says ukramedia.com. All right, thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you did, make sure you like the video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And if you haven't joined the mentoring group on Facebook, make sure you do that. You can find the link at the bottom of this video and we would love to see you there. But until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.